Hello fellow football connoisseurs and welcome back to the quick take. Lots of news to get into today. Of course we have an update regarding Raheem Sterling and his future at the Pride of London. We also have some big news regarding the Chelsea women's team. Uh, we have an arrival in the backroom staff led by Paul and Stanley and Lawrence Stewart. Of course uh, the director of loans has now joined Chelsea Football Club. Very interesting news there. We also have an update regarding Noni Madueke and potentially an Everton centre-back future target for Chelsea. Before I continue, I would like to quickly remind you I am running a giveaway with ownasaber.com where at 15,000 subscribers, you could be in with a chance at winning the King of London lightsaber, the perfect saber for every Chelsea fan. Three participants will be chosen and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and check the pinned comment down below for more information. And with that... On with the video. So, as you can see, lots and lots of news to get in today. Starting off with the big news story, of course, coming in from Graham Bailey. Exclusive Chelsea are planning to move on from a number of big names this summer, with Raheem Sterling and Thiago Silva not part of the direction the club is taking. Now, of course, as we know, Thiago Silva is expected to be leaving at the end of the season. Uh, but Raheem Sterling was one I had been calling to be sold come the summer transfer window. And uh, with, a, with a number of years still left on his contract, he's still contracted until 2020. So that's three more years left on his deal. I thought it would be very difficult to sell him unless a, a Saudi club were to come in for him. But as I said, he is on £325,000 a week and it does look like Chelsea are going to do everything in their power to move him on. That, of course, would open up a lot of uh, versatility in terms of the players we can target. Uh, whether we want to go for Victor Osman or another player who will demand high wages like an Alfonso Davies at left back. Having Raheem Sterling go, uh, that would uh, open up an avenue for those players. I don't think uh, that would be a massive loss in terms of Chelsea's uh, current uh, states going forward. I don't think he's brought that much to this side in terms of his experience at Man City, we've had a few glimpses here and there of what made him a great player at those clubs, but he's just been too inconsistent to justify the 325k a week, and I keep mentioning that, but you got to, uh, that is a lot of money. And so we move on to an update regarding the Chelsea women's team. Now, I mainly report on news regarding the men's team and do analytical breakdown, uh, mainly centered around the men's team, but we do uh, have an update regarding the future uh, manager for the Chelsea women's team of course Emma Hayes the great Emma Hayes will be leaving come the end of the season and we had this from the Athletic six hours ago and then a further update which I'll get into in just a second exclusive Chelsea women have offered a contract to Leon head coach Sonia Bamposto uh, to replace US WNT bound Emma Hayes at the end of the season and then we had this from Le Kip 23 minutes ago reported by Chelsea Dodgers Chelsea are pushing hard to try and poach Sonia Bamposta uh, from Leon. Negotiations are underway. Now, as a manager, she's been very successful. We have her honours here on Wikipedia. She's won the French League twice, 21-22 uh, season and the 22-23 season. The Coup de France Feminine in the 22-23 season. The Co uh, Trophy de Champions in the 20 in 2022 and 2023 and of course the UEFA Women's Champions League in 2021 and 2022 so very very good manager coming to the Chelsea women's team we need the best to replace uh obviously Emma Hayes fantastic manager and herself but what this highlights to me is I think uh, the Chelsea women's team and the Chelsea men's team have two different directions in terms of how the owners see uh, the best way to make money with them of course, the women's team, they don't bring in as much revenue in terms of uh, money from uh, sponsorships, money from uh, match, match day going fans. And so their biggest way of making money, in my opinion, from that standpoint, and obviously the, the fees aren't that high in terms of transfer fees, would be uh, through winning competitions. And so it's imperative that the Chelsea women's team are as successful as possible on the field in order to generate the money uh, needed to sustain it and to help it grow. The men's team, on the other hand, it does seem like there has been a different approach in terms of recruitment, in terms of what they see is the best of the club, in terms of putting money back into their pockets, so to speak, or keeping it afloat um, in terms of uh, money. Uh, and that is buying young, uh, putting them on low wages and then you know in investing in youth and then selling that for profit later on. Of course, our two directors of football 
I don't know why we have two, but of course our two directors of football, Paul and Stanley and Lawrence Stewart, they have come from clubs like AS Monaco, they have come from clubs like Brighton, who have done this very successfully, who have uh, picked up players for cheap, uh, for cheap, uh, cheap prices, and then have sold them for major, major profits. This I just don't think is in line with the with the ethos of Chelsea Football Club, but it is what we have to put up with now, and I think that is our future going forward. We buy young, uh, we have them on low wages, and then we sell them for big profits, um, and then we invest the money we make from that into more young players repeat 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 and it is very frustrating uh but they have been busy as i said paul and stanley lawrence stewart they have been busy building chelsea's backroom staff here we have this coming in from david ornstein chelsea are set to appoint josh marsh as loans manager recruitment of swansea head of football operations led by cfc sporting directors win stanley and stewart alongside loan player technical director uh Cudicini, due to start in march now a lot of Chelsea fans have been up in arms um with the reveal of this news and I'm not going to act like I know Josh Marsh. I'm not going to act like I'm a, I'm a football director or a football owner and I know exactly what's best for this club. I have my suggestions, of course, and I have my uh, direction I wish the club would go. Now, of course, Chelsea have had some uh, issues with loaning players out in the past. The biggest example to me is the Andre Santos loan to Nottingham Forest. Of course, he didn't play a minute there. A loan situation which could have been highly avoided if we had just taken the time to analyse uh, Nottingham Forest's uh, midfield targets and the chances Andre Santos was going to uh, get playing time in that side. Hopefully, Josh Marsh can help us in that department, and it does look like we are going down this multi-club network, and so I would expect us to be loaning players out left, right, and center to Strasbourg and to the Saudi, uh, uh, Saudi South, uh, South American club we're looking at, maybe a Portuguese club we're looking at. So having someone who is head of that and who is able to just focus all the time on loaning those players out and making the best decision possible is wise. Whether he is the most qualified person for the job, I would have to question that. I would have to question whether the Swansea guy is the most qualified person for the job when they are being given the reins and the responsibility of Chelsea's uh, development of our youth. It's a big responsibility to make and uh, I would prefer to have gone into more experienced hands, but hey ho, you can't win everything. But that does lead us on to our final news story of the day. And of course, Chelsea will be looking at a centre-back come this summer transfer window with an estimated uh, budget of £350 million with sales, of course. Raheem Sterling has now been linked away with a move, um, possibly uh, Nani Madueke, who has now been linked away with a move to Juventus, potentially. Um, and Conor Gallagher, whose contract is still uh, you know, hanging in the balance. We, he's got a year left and we're no closer to him getting a new contract as we were yesterday. And so we have an update regarding a centre-back target coming in from from Mike Keegan DM. Chelsea have inquired about 21-year-old Everton defender Jared Branthwaite. Now, of course, Jared Branthwaite is highly rated. Um, I think this is going to be a similar situation to Wesley Fofana at Leicester. Very highly very highly rated youngster. Um, but I've got a bad feeling about this deal. I, I do have a bad feeling about this deal. I think if we're going to spend money on a centre-back, I think the centre-back we should really target is Matthias De Ligt. Of course, we wanted him uh, previously. He'll end up going to Bayern Munich. Um, but then we have this from Goal. Uh, Man United on red alert. Disillusions Matthias De Ligt. Open to leaving Bayern Munich, having fallen down centre-back pecking order under Thomas Tuchel. Now... Jared Braithwaite, as you can see by his heat map here, is very much a left side of centre-back. And we are going forward with our plan of Levy Cole and Benoit Badashili being our two top left side of centre-back targets. I just don't think Jared Braithwaite fits what we're trying to do. I think uh, if you want a, a bit more leadership, I think Matthias Delict would be perfect. I also know that Matthias Delict can play on the right side, the right side of centre-back. And if he's not getting game time at Bayern Munich, then I think he'd be the perfect choice. You know, he brings that physicality. He brings that experience. He's been a top footballer for a while now. Of course, he was one of the star players in Ten Hag's fantastic Champions League run who got all the way to the semi-finals a number of years ago of course before Spurs made that dramatic comeback but I do rate Delict highly and we'll see uh, what happens going forward with that centre-back position but that about wraps up today's video how much do you think we'll get for Raheem Sterling do you think he'll go to the Saudi League yes or no what are your thoughts on Sonia Bonpasta potentially becoming the next Chelsea women's uh, manager what are your thoughts on Paul and Stanley and Lawrence Stewart appointing Josh Marsh as the new director of of loans do you think it's a case of the blind leading the blind and let me know your thoughts regarding jared branthwaite yes or no as always if you like the video like comment and subscribe i've been the quick take and i'll catch you on the next one see you later